Must have been imagining things, but I could have sworn I heard those generators go pop from here. Thank you, my lord. But it looks like the resistance isn't done yet. I should think blowing up their guns leaves little room for misunderstanding. They're a stubborn bunch. Used to be we kept the resistance in check in the wilds, but now they've started to get bolder. They're attacking Imperial holdings in the old Balmoran industrial area. We need to punish their boldness. Lieutenant Thorpe but Mark Karen Outpost has some ideas about how to put the resistance back in their place. Alright, back to Sith business. Evening, sir. What can I offer to wet your throat and bring a smile to your lips? You know why I'm here, what I want. Uh, is this about Harris? Men were looking for him yesterday, too. Imperial intelligence. Whatever he did, I don't want to know. Harris! Leave the girls alone and get over here! Someone wants you! And what does such a respected Sith want with Harris Bant? I'm here to kill you. Now, now, we're all friends here. Just tell me what you want. You're digging your own grave. Okay, okay. You're talking about the package I snagged from the Sokol girl, right? Good looker, that one. But not much between the ears. Anyway, here they are. It's just some data disks. I don't even know what's on them. Was Kalara in on this? Did she give you the disks? You think she's innocent? She knew who I was. But when we were together, we weren't talking politics. Try not to bleed all over the discs. Not in my cantina! No! <laughs> the turrets are ready for reprogramming. Hail the Emperor! I owe you my thanks and far more. The Corps of Engineers will more than compensate you for your service. Now those rebels will see how lucky they are to be part of the glorious Empire. You look satisfied. I hope it's because the wretched spy who stole my blaster designs lies dead on his own floor. He died for insulting the laws of our Empire. A far more worthy reason than any other crime. But what of Kalara? Did you question him as to her role in this... affair? Without her help, would he even have known what to take? Yes. I can no longer deny Kalara's role in this. If you haven't tired of my sordid tale, perhaps you could undertake one more task. Pay me enough, and I'll see it your way. This is a bit more... sensitive than dealing with Haraz Bant. I could see fit to pay you triple what I would give otherwise. Consider it. If the authorities learned of Kalara's folly, it would ruin the good name of this office, shut us down for months of investigation. All the while, the resistance would be gaining strength. The penalty for aiding a spy is death. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. I have been considering how best to end this disaster. It should be quiet, quick. Something that can be blamed on the rebels. No questions asked. I understand you. Let me call Kalara. I will tell her you are to escort her to my colleague Garboza at the Imperial Outpost. The route has many isolated spots suitable for rebel ambush. Oh, is it time? Uh, my dear, this is the bodyguard I've asked to bring you to the outpost. Garboza asked me to thank you for your assistance at such short notice. You'll be safe with me. I certainly hope so. He will meet you at the transit point. Wait for him there. I love you too. Go then. 
When you find yourselves alone, you can put an end to her treason. And my marriage. She has brought on her own death with her foolishness. Just be kind about it. I loved her once. It is best our names not be linked after this. When the deed is done, go to Officer Garboza at the outpost. He'll have your reward. You need not say what it's for. Ah, you must be here for Officer Sir Cole's wife. He said to expect you. One moment. Gan doesn't usually go out of his way to see me protected. Is this going to be so dangerous? I can't remember the last time he voluntarily let me spend time with a man who wasn't stodgy or senile. Maybe Officer Sakol is just worried about you. Worried about his property, maybe. If he cared about me, I'd see him more than just on the comlink, you know? Let's get going. around so much like that it's like you're looking for someone are you expecting an attack why did Gan send an armed escort when I'm just going to the outpost your life is about to end what what did I I don't even know you do, do you want money my husband has money I'm sure he would pay any ransom are you saying you're not working for the Republic? I don't know what you're... Oh, no. Do not tell me that this is about Harris. Is Gan such a baby that he'd frame me for treason because I slept around? Treason? Seriously? Tell Gan that Harris is a jerk and I've broken it off. If he had the guts, he would ask me himself. Your husband's honor has been besmirched. It is his right to kill you. Over one lousy night. And trust me, lousy doesn't begin to describe it. Whatever this is about the Republic, I don't know anything, I swear. Look, can't you just talk to him or, or something? He, he wouldn't really kill me for this, would he? Your selfishness aided our enemies. You get no mercy. You're going to kill me for this? For this? No! Welcome to the front, my lord. Your reputation precedes you. I'm Fixer 66. I'm with the operations branch of Imperial Intelligence. And if you have a moment, I'd like to show you something. I see you're monitoring communications. What more should I know? On the left is an ordinary Republic Kong unit issued to resistance fighters. You've probably seen hundreds before. This other one is a Republic Kong unit that has undergone some surgery. Please look, don't touch. The second one contains a half kilo of high explosive that detonates when the talk button is pressed. I can imagine the effects when it is held to one's ear. The plan is to take a few of these sabotaged Kong units behind the resistance's lines and plant them on their dead. The resistance should soon salvage the comms and take them back to their headquarters. Resulting explosions will cripple and panic them. We'd prefer someone like you to take point. Someone who won't break if captured and who can go without reinforcements. Can you do this? The resistance will soon see death everywhere. Your instructors at the Korriban Academy must have loved you. Head over to our technical man, a Balmora local we drafted. The men call him Toybox. He'll give you the ordnance and show you how to transport it safely. Keep trying to raise them. I may have another avenue. My lord, I'm Major Taras, commander of the 2nd Battalion. We have an... an emerging situation. I have need of your assistance and your discretion. We have a rescue operation that must be mounted immediately. If it's this urgent, why hide it? 
Because the colonels don't like it when you can't find an entire platoon of your top soldiers. We sent them into the Akara droid factory for a covert electronic operation. Eight hours ago, their communications blacked out, which means the droids are onto them. What are their chances that close to Akara? I'll be frank. Other than grass, the soldiers are the only living things within a click of that factory. That's the droid's protocol. Nothing survives. So when I say I need you to find first platoon, I mean it. I'll head to the Akara factory immediately. Their ranking officer is Lieutenant Rutau. If the droids got him, then please, take command and lead the unit back. Well, if it isn't the best paid engineering consultant on Balmora. Oh my lord, I, I didn't realize. I, I mean, no one told me you'd be Sith. My apologies for the familiarity. But uh, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what is someone like you doing working for Officer Sokol? Just transfer the credits and don't ask things you don't want to know. Don't ask about things that could get Officer Sokol in trouble, you mean? Because that's definitely something I want to know. I could add a little something on top of this for information that lets me pass Officer Sokol at the next evaluation. Call it a tip. Fifteen percent. Officer Sakol hired me to kill his wife and her rebel boyfriend. Pretty little Kalara had Republic leanings, hmm? Oh, that is not going to look good to the clearance board at all. Thank you. Next time you see me, I may be working Troida instead of this bit. Fixer 66 called with the details. I've got your car units rigged and ready to go. Oh, my name's Toybox. Or, that's what they call me. I used to make... Well, never mind. Quite a plan the Fixer's got. What do you think of it? I like it. It exterminates the Resistance in their nests. The Resistance? Or anyone else that picks up the comm unit? He's assuming soldiers will be the ones stripping any Resistance bodies, but civilians pick over bodies all the time. Refugees, sympathizers, sometimes you'll even see children do it. Anyone that scrounges at a soldier's corpse is no innocent. No, but it's more practical to kill a soldier than a civilian, right? We want a high-value target. While I was making the bombs, I remembered I had some empty grenade casings lying around. Now, a comm unit anyone will activate. But if we trapped a grenade to explode when armed, only soldiers will be in the blast. What would you think of that? Has it occurred to you that the Fixer's plan relies on you obeying his orders? I'm sorry. I was just trying to show some initiative, my lord. Here are the trapped comm units. They're disarmed until this channel is set to five. Just set them and walk away. Fixer 66 will be monitoring resistance comm frequencies. Talk to him when it's done. <laughs> 